In this video, we're going to be showing you how a receptionist can accept um, a lot of inbound calls on this particular phone. This is the Cisco 509G. It's got eight lines, you got four lines, four lines, and these are four lines. So right now, we're just going to be demonstrating how uh, a lot of incoming calls start coming in. So you're going to see the four, the phone started ringing. Okay, so a call comes in, right? You can answer that call. Another call is going to come in right now. Okay, simply press that button or pick up the handset. Another call is going to come in, right? You either pick up the handset, press that button. Another call comes in, pick up the handset, and another call comes in, so and so on. That gives you an idea on the calls that are coming in rapidly. So we're going to start hanging up these calls. And we're gonna show you what we're gonna be doing with those calls later on. But for now, we're just gonna be um, disconnecting those calls. So in this video, we're gonna be demonstrating to you how to do a blind transfer and a regular transfer. A regular transfer, you're gonna be able to speak to the person inside your office to letting them know what's going on with the client from the outside. The blind transfer, you're gonna shoot the call to an extension no matter what. No matter if the person's there, no matter if the person's on the phone, you're just gonna shoot that call straight to them. So this is how it works. You get a call that comes in. So on each button, there's a blind transfer key here and you have a regular transfer key here. We're gonna show you the regular transfer key first. We're gonna transfer this call to extension 103, and we could do it a couple of different ways. Go to transfer, that's 103 in our um, side panel. And so now, 103, you and the person from the inside are speaking. Okay, so you guys are speaking, the client's still on the outside, they're listening to whole music while you guys talk. Once you finish talking, you can go ahead and press the transfer key again. So now this call is no longer here. As you can see, extension 103 is busy now. They're speaking to the client from the outside world. So that's how a transfer works. Now we're going to do a blind transfer. So you're going to see a call coming in. And we're going to shift this call to extension 101. So you're going to do blind transfer, 101. Simple as that. The call went straight directly to extension 101. So now we're going to show you how to do it without the side panel. So we're going to do it this way. Same, right? You get, let's going to do blind transfer to extension 103. You're going to do blind transfer. 103 pound instantly we send a call to extension 103 without the need of a side panel in this portion of the video we're going to show you how to park a call a park a call allows you to put a call on hold without the need of your phone being in use and another benefit of that is that call can be picked up from any phone in the system by simply dialing the park extension and we're going to show you how that works so a call will come in and immediately you'll see a button there that says park so you're going to press that park button Seven, one. so you get a call that park call it's on 71 and here we have it monitored. We know that there's a call parked on 71. So another call will come in. And so the same thing, right? You would answer the call. And you want to park the call. Seven, two. You got a park call on 72. So there's there's two extensions uh, being tied up. Again, another call comes in. Park the seven, call. Three. Okay, so you got 71, 72, and 73. Let's say this person wants to pick up 71. So 
So they dial 71, now they're talking to that person. Let's say this person wanted to pick up 72. They dial 72. And now they're connected. And let's say this person wanted to pick up 73. And now they're connected. So you see extension 101 is busy. Extension 102 is busy. Extension 103 is busy. They're all talking to people from the outside world. Let's say that you have a caller that wants to speak to someone in your office that, that is not near a phone or doesn't have a phone assigned to them. So what we do in that situation, we can use a overhead paging system. In this scenario, we're gonna show you where our speaker is. Um, give us a second. So we have a speaker there, just for demonstration purposes. Um, we are going to be getting a little bit of feedback just due to the fact that the speaker is so close to us, but we're going to try to minimize that as much as possible. Simply grab your head headset, and we have an extension already pre-programmed for that. So we're going to show you that the call is going to come in first, okay? and this is how great it's going to work. You're going to pick up that call, right? They want to speak to John Smith, as an example, you're going to park this call. Seven, one. Okay, so now you know that there's a call parked there at 71. So you heard the extension. So now you can page John Smith. We have this extension here programmed for that. John Smith, you have a park call on 71. John Smith, park 71. So now that John heard that there's a call part for him at 71, from any phone, he can simply go dial 71. And now John from any phone in the system is connected to the outside world. And you can see that there's nobody on park. And you see that John happens to be near extension 101 which is this one, and he was able to pick up that call. So now we're gonna be showing you how to do, how to place a call on hold, and how to shoot a call straight to their voicemail. So we're gonna demonstrate to you how that's gonna look like. Call's gonna come in from the outside, right? You're gonna call extension, let's say, uh, you wanna do a, a transfer, you wanna check it's for extension 102 as an example, right? So press that you're calling 102 and that person is not there okay so you're going to come back to a, back to that extension you're going to speak to your client and say hey listen um, that person is not answering um, would you like to leave a message they may say you know what um, can you go check if they're around so you can place that call on hold simple okay you place that call on hold so you went, you look for that person, they're not there. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna come back to the client, say the person's not there, I'm gonna put you directly into their voicemail. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do a blind transfer, and you're gonna add star to the extension. So that call went straight to voicemail to extension 102, without ringing. In this portion of the video, we're gonna show you how to do a three-way conference call. Uh, for this purpose, we're gonna be just dialing extensions inside the office, but this would be the same way that you would dial a outside call, like another office or a cell phone number. A call would come in, right? so you would answer the call, Let's say that you wanted to conference this call with yourself in another number or another extension. Simply dial conference. We're going to ex conference to extension 101. Okay. They're going to answer the phone. Once they answer the phone, you press conference calling. So now this person's talking, this person is talking, the person from the outside world, all three of you guys are now in a conference call.
In this portion, we're going to show you how to pick up a call from another extension. Uh, let's say that person went out to lunch and somebody's calling their extension and you want to be able to pick up that extension, it's going to be super easy. Uh, you're going to see a call come in, right? So you see that extension 102 is ringing and you see that the extension here is also blinking. All you do is pick up that, ex you press that button you just grab the call that was heading to extension 102. Now you're speaking to the person that was calling 102, whether it's from inside your extension or whether it was a party from the outside calling in. Now you can tell them, hey, listen, uh, that uh, person's at a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? They say yes. You obviously know that extension 102 is not in the office or they're in a meeting. So you can transfer directly. You do a blind transfer to their voicemail. Blind transfer, star 102 pound. Instantly, their voicemail, um, it's um, being redirected to their voicemail. In this portion of the video, we're gonna be demonstrating to you how a virtual queue would allow you to transfer calls to a, a set group of people in your network. For example, you may have a sales queue and you may have a uh, tech support queue. So on this uh, example, we're gonna be showing you how we program those two extensions there as our holding queues. Uh, so a caller will come in from the outside line. Okay, you pick up the call. And let's say you want to do your sales queue. We have that program there as an example. So you do blind transfer, your holding queue. Instantly, all your calls start ringing. Whatever agent is available, they pick up the line. As you can see, agent at extension 102 picked up that line. So you know that the caller from the outside is being taken care of. So let's say another call comes in, right? So you're going to see that call come in okay so let's say they want tech support okay not a problem blind transfer to another queue and as you can see all those phones on your tech support queue start ringing so you simply you pick up the line and as you can see extension 104 picked up that call and now they're talking to the agent from the outside In this portion of the video, we're gonna to demonstrate to you how to use a conference room. A conference room allows you to have unlimited inbound extensions call to join a conference room. As far as the outside callers, you're limited by the amount of concurrent calls that you're paying for. Let's say that you're only paying for five concurrent calls, that will limit you the amount of concurrent calls that people can call from the outside world. In this video, we're gonna demonstrate a few calls from the inside network joining the conference room, and we're gonna have an outside caller calling in, and we're gonna join them to the conference room. So in this scenario, we're gonna dial 700. One, two, three, four is the pin number. Test, test, test. Thank you. You are currently the only person in this conference. We're going to be joining one other phone in the conference. One, two, three, four again. Test, test, test. Thank you. There is currently one other participant. Okay, so now we're going to show you a call coming in from the outside world. We're going to show you how you're going to join that conference, that caller to the conference room. Okay, so this call came from the outside world. Um, you can give them the PIN number before you send them to the conference room. So you tell them your PIN number is going to be 1234. You do a blind transfer and then
press this button here that we have pre-programmed for that. So instantly that caller is going to be joining the conference room by entering one, two, three, four. This video has been brought to you by the Cisco guys. You can visit us at our brand new webpage, www.alldigitalphones.com or the ciscoguys.com. You can reach us toll free at 877-937-8647 or 844-YES-VOIP. Please like this video and subscribe to us.